Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you really quickly how to flash the Android M Preview 1 with a pre-root installed and a custom kernel. Now this is going to be called JDX 1.0. It is a ROM with a couple little quick fixes and feature improvements. And it's also going to come with root pre-baked in, which is super awesome. So it's just a single zip file that you flash in TWRP recovery and you're good to go. You're gonna notice here that the features include rooted NT support, tethering, no force encryption, and the rest of the information is also in the change log. Root is now fully baked in, Wi-Fi issue was resolved, BusyBox latest version, and it's running the spare kernel. That's a pretty great kernel, but you can flash anything you want to, I think, afterwards. Basically, you're just going to go to the directory here, and you will want to download the latest two files, which includes the P5-zip and the YouTube fix. The YouTube fix is basically going to resolve the 1080p that was missing in the current YouTube uh, version of this specific Android M uh, build. But yeah, just go ahead and grab these two. If you don't care about the YouTube fix, don't grab it. But once you have both of these files on your device or an external storage, go ahead and reboot into recovery. Make sure that you have your existing ROM backed up or anything that you need specifically. And then you can go into the wipe process and wipe everything but the internal data, obviously, and then go ahead into the install process and flash this over. Now, if you are using multi-ROM, you can technically flash this as a secondary ROM and then go from there. And you will go through the initial boot process and the initial setup and you'll be good to go. Everything is going to work right out of the package or the flash. Go ahead and enable those developer options and you'll also be able to use multi-window if you want to check that out. But I don't really recommend you do that because it's super buggy and you'll run into a lot of issues if you turn it off and you don't have every app back on full screen mode. You'll figure it out, but yeah, I just don't recommend using it. But this is a pretty solid build with pre-root uh, privileges built in and everything else that you're going to need specifically. Just be aware that you're not going to get OTA uh, updates with the next uh, release, the preview 2. If you do download this, I'm pretty sure since it has been pre-modified and some things have been altered. If you want to check out the regular M version, I'll be coming out with a video of that later on. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, definitely hit the thumbs up. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you enjoy videos like this as I have more in the future. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next video.